Greetings and salutations. This is Imperator Vespasian, Antis Trusty Sidekick. Hello. Uh, we're having an unboxing video today for Fireforge Games Forgotten World Living Dead Knights. Yes. So, what do you think of them so far? Well, sound fantastic to me, of course. Is that what it's going to be? Well, that's the figures on the back of the box. Um, yeah, it does mean it's Living Dead Horse. Yes. Living Dead Cavalry. Uh, Living Dead Cavalry. Thing. So, we'll have a look at what we get inside well, the Yeah, right, I'm going to put this up so you can see better. Right, these bases are very intricate and you can see they're the new design of bases, the sort of oval bay on them. Anyway, we have cavalry, which we'll do first. I'll just say there's two types of bases. These bases, which are like the standard, yeah, and then there's the oval bases, which um, are different. I mean, we base on these round bases, so I just round make, bases, yeah, don't make it a bit. Because we're more do role play than big bat pitch battle games, so we, it, it, it's easier having the oval bases just because we don't usually have large regiments of troops. Um, but that's just for us. Anywho. Uh, these are the horses. And dogs? Uh, yes, you get one dog. Just there. This is quite a nice little chappy. Uh, he's got a few little holes in him. Uh, these are very... I'd say they're very basic, these models. Um, not a massive amount of intricate detail. Um, but that's fine, because you can do what you want with paint. So, um, and they're relatively cheap as well. Um, so, these are the horses. As you can see, the old rib cage, the old bit of flesh missing, it's quite nice. The heads of all the horses are quite nice because some have some bones sticking out, which is quite good. Um, and this here, um, I haven't actually put them on the horses that I'm doing. No. Because it's the wrong period. That was about 100 years later to the period where we we're doing it. So, um, so yeah, they have got. Nice horses, I like the little eyes there. Got quite a bit of detail on them, but you know, overall they're pretty easy. They fit together quite well as well. Just mm, straight fit. Look a lot like uh, Perry cavalry. Yeah, I mean, good thing about it is they don't have bases, as in, not one horse isn't stuck to a base. Um, like the other Fireforge stuff. Um, I tend to find you need to do quite a bit of trimming to the opposite horse when you do those bases. Yeah. Um, you don't have to do it with this, you just stick it to a base. Um, then we have this. Um, I think they're all the same, these guys. Um, so we have legs, which is just legs. Um, the torso, and we have a, quite a variety of torso. We've got all three different ones. Got a nice breastplate that's been broken over. You can see the rib cage inside, which is actually quite cool. Let's move the light so you can see better. Um, you have another one that's been sliced open, and then one that's intact. Um, and you got the heads there, which the uh, the next the heads fit to. We have quite a decent collection of heads. They're quite nice little heads. So we've got one standard skeleton head. One head with a helmet, and then three heads with helmets. Oh, actually, he's just got a cloak sort of on. Uh, three heads, two heads with helmets with a little cloaky bit, and this guy who it has anklers. Why oh, did he have anklers? In Skyrim, they did it once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I suppose the Sammy did wear anklers. But then again, they were they got killed generally because they didn't wear any armor and they just rode around on skis in winter. Because <sighs> they ever tried to fight in summer, they'd just get nailed by a lot the of different Swedes. Weapons, aren't they? Um, Not just the same weapon wrong. Oh no! Um, you can actually do pr pretty much anything. You've got a ball and chain, which is awesome. Uh, it's for basically a swinging mace. Yeah, but it's for taking out horses. It's not for. You throw, you throw it. 
Yeah, you don't. Can you use it against shields as well or something? Yeah, you can use it against shields. It, it will stick in a shield and then be a weight to the shield and then you can pull on it and it will pull the shield down so you can nail the guy yeah. with the shield. Um, but uh, the ones with two chains, uh, they're for horses. You throw them at horses and it wraps around their legs and, and does nasty things to the horse's legs. Um, that's really what they're for. Um, don't try and fight with one of these and you, you'll hit yourself with it. You used to have one, didn't you? Yes, I've got one. I, I don't have one somewhere. Really? You don't have it anymore. Don't I? No, I right before it originally moved. It, you, you picked it up and it, all the metal had just... Oh, it felt like... Oh, yeah. 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 But I, I had one. I got it. I picked it up in Italy. <laughs> Back when you could come home on a plane with a ball and chain. <laughs> then you lug in, you know, and you walk on luggage, and no one cared because you know, no, no one did stuff. But <sighs> God, I hate the modern world. <laughs> the modern world's trash. Um, right, so we've got the shields are all broken. Yes. Sense, cause yeah. <laughs> yeah that was. That, I mean, the only reason our dead is because they must have died in battle prior. <laughs> yes. The, 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 these guys are probably fighting the undead, and are now the undead themselves. Yeah. Um, so we have. So, two different swords. Um, we have very nice large swords as well. They're proper cavalry swords. Not the arming sword. I don't know why they use arming swords sometimes with cavalry. Just in movies. Because the people, reach. the people making movies don't know what an arming sword is. They think a sword is a sword. Um, this is a long sword. And it's designed for... It's, actually, it's supposed to actually on, on foot you fight with it two-handed. But on horseback it's just a huge lump of steel which weighs a lot, and you hit something with it while you ride past. I mean, it's like this guy I know who does, who's in reenactments. Yeah. For fun. Yeah. Right? And he's in full, like, armour and stuff. And his weapon of choice, he says, is the, is the sword. I was like, okay, and what's your opponent pick? And he says, oh, sometimes the opponent has, like, a mace. <laughs> or sometimes it picks a great sword, which he doesn't understand. And it's like... What's, a sword's not going to go through someone in full plated armor. No, a sword won't do anything <laughs> to a knight. That's so, well, I, I, can just, I can just envision him just getting beaten to the yeah. ground. I mean, if you look at, um, in, in real life, if you see a guy in armor, right, and you have a sword, what are you going to do to that guy? You may as well just drop the sword and use a rock. Well, <laughs> you can turn the sword around and use it as a mace. Yes. Right, use the handle as a mace, which, which they did, if you were fighting a knight, and you, that's what you did. Um, you do, a sword is useless against a knight. Um, a sword is useless against most things. It is called an arming sword for a reason. It is like your pistol in, for a modern soldier. You draw it when you're stuffed, you run out of everything else, and you have no choice. Um, because you, you're very unlikely to do any real damage with a pistol either. Um, I'm talking real life, not films, yeah. where in films, I mean, uh, actually, John Wick is the best depiction of how you should use one. Well, I should have like 15 times in the chest. Uh, no, but fire at point blank range. Yeah. Actually put it to, the, to them to, to fire, and it's quite realistic in a way, that sort of fighting, because if you just fire across a room, you're not going to hit anything. Yeah. I know, I used to own one, I used to go, go, go to the gun club and we used to do police pistols and stuff. I sometimes do it right now. Because what sometimes what they do is they use a pistol just to keep the person's head down so they can. Yeah, it's it. just to make loud bangs and make someone keep their head down. Like the Germans yeah. and they have their MP30, didn't they? MP40, yeah. The MP40. The MP40. <laughs> I don't think go. anyone ever died of an MP40. <laughs> no. But what the, what, what the MP40 did was put a lot of 9mm rounds downrange and made the enemy keep their head down so your men with rifles can. Do, do their job, because that's how you, in real life, that's how soldiers actually do stuff. Um, so anyway, um, ball and chain, um, decent weapon. Uh, most ball and chains in museums are fake, as in they are period, but they were never used, they were used for ornamentation. So they're, they're actually designed to be fake, um, but they do have a use on the battlefield. Mace, um, the go-to bestest weapon, any anyone will ever have, ever. Any knight can carry. Yeah, uh, especially a knight, because you're fighting knights, you need something which will penetrate armour, and a, and, a, and a mace will, unlike a sword. Um, and then you have an axe. Um, axes are very, very versatile. You can cut trees down with them. Um, you can throw them, I suppose, if you've got a throwing axe. They're, they're quite good. They're for splitting shields. Um, in close combat, you really want the axe, axe with the square head at the back, 
because that is what you use against armor because this ain't doing anything to armor but it is heavy and so you, you can knock the guy over but I wouldn't personally go in with an axe um, really axes are for dealing with horses if you're an infantryman your big guy with an axe um, he, he, he will deal with the horses for you um, also uh, which is why they're very very long is to hit the rider on a horse this really long axe this is a short axe so it's okay I don't think in, in, in real life these zombies will be carrying axes <laughs> <laughs> uh, then you've got the spear, uh, which is actually longer than the average spear because it's it's a lance, but it's it's not the full medieval lance. Um, but it they're is huge. Yes, they're huge. Um, they're, they're twelve feet long minimum. Um, I think the longest we used by the Teutonic Order uh, had sixteen foot lances um, because the guys they were fighting had long pikes so they needed something longer than the thing the guys were fighting when they were up against the rust the rust used really long spears and so they needed something longer um but pretty decent it got a nice long spear and the good thing about that is it can nail people further away from you and when you're on horseback if the enemy has got spears you can actually ride up to the spearman and nail the spearman without them stopping your horse i'm not really sure how fighting dvigar um, a would 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 Dugger horses particularly care about? No, no, they wouldn't. So, um, but in in life, that's how they worked. Anyway, um, but yeah, we have a drum. Um, I am actually using these drums for my orcs. Yeah. Yeah, because they, you don't get drums with orcs. I don't know why you'd use a drum for anyway for cavalry, I suppose. Um, I, I, some cavalry do use drums because they're not cavalry; they're actually dragoons. Which means they're foot troops that are on horseback. So and they're all that dismount, right? Yes. That's why they get in battle. Yes. That's why I always die. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, there was a very famous battle in Scotland where the English dragoons went up against the Scots, and the Scots charged them, so the dragoons ran away. And because the Scots are terrifying, <laughs> they're just running at you, screaming. Um, so the dragoons ran, but they their horses went the wrong way. So the men were on foot with these massive dragoon boots, which incidentally have lead in them to, to weigh the boots down so you don't fall off your horse. And they had to try and climb over this like 12 foot high wall and they couldn't get over. The Scots reached them and killed them all. Um, so dragoons, yeah, great. Not that good. Uh, your problem is with dragoons is uh, every fourth man holds a horse. So your 120 man dragoon unit is actually, what, 80 men? Yeah. Um, then you've got Bugler, he's not firing, or, or Trumpeter, whatever, or Drummer. Um, you, then you've got your staff, they're not, they're not firing either. So really Dragoons are just for skirmishing on the edges, don't ever send them into battle. <laughs> we found that out when we used to play Spanish Succession, we found out that Dragoons are actually rubbish. If anyone hits them, they just disappear. Do you remember your French Dragoons? Oh God, I don't know what The yellow know. ones with the red hat? Yes. Yeah, they were useless, weren't they? <laughs> They look great, but in reality, yeah, not, not that good. Um, anyway, uh, the pendant, uh, we have a nice pendant here, which is an excellent pendant. I quite like it. I'm actually using this pendant. I've got a few of these boxes, so I'm using the pendant for other stuff as well, because it's a really good pendant. So it's got some holes in it, and it, it looks quite nice. Um, is that everything? Yeah, I think we'll talk about it for the video. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, so um, that's... So it's the, always good to have variations. That's the doggo you get with it. That's the doggo, doggo. It's so one dog per... One dog per sprue, so that's what, two... Two. Three, two dogs per Yeah, box? you get two infantry and two cap. Yeah. Because I think you get six per box, don't you? I'm just... just Because I, I know the new boxes, uh, you get six instead of twelve. Yeah, six, so you get two, two dogs. Um, in the old boxes, uh, you get twelve cavalry in a box. All the new stuff that Fireforge are making have got six. Which, the figures are a little bit more chunkier, so, and a little bit, you know, I quite like them, but, um, it, modern world. Yeah. It's to keep the price of the boxes down. Um, I know, I, I had a bag of crisps the other day, it was a huge, big bag of crisps, so I opened it up and there was, like, five crisps in it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's quite expensive. Um, anyway, that's the doggo, which I quite like the dog. The dog's great. Um, that's a nice little hound. And here is a knight, uh, looking quite resplendent in his battle armour. 
Unfortunately, he has been disemboweled, um, which is unfortunate. Um, oh, I should also mention, you also get these arrows in the box as well. Did I mention the arrow? You did not. Um, where's the sprue? Right. Um, is it this sprue or is it the infantry sprue? I think it might be right. Um, you get loads of arrows. It must be the infantry infantry box. Sorry, in that case, it's not in this box. So forget it. Just, just forget I said it. Um, but as I see, the the horses are quite simple, but you can get quite a bit of detail out of them when painting. So you know, I'm I'm quite impressed with them personally. And you can see the little eye there as well. And the shields are great because the shields are all you can do what you want with them. Um, to give this. To give the, the unit a feel, because they're for your troops actually, aren't they? For your and, and necromancer. Um, these are, we're using these as Jagur, and so I'm trying to theme. It's not easy theming Undead, but I'm theming them by giving them all the same kind of uniform as it's a regiment that served long ago and it was raised, and, and so uh, they look a lot better when they're all sort of themed in one colour. So there they are. That is the guy. And he's carrying a mace, because he's clearly up against bad guys, uh, sorry, knights, so he's going to use it. Um, your army does lack uh, close combat troops, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's more uh, keep them far away. Yeah. So th this will give you a decent, and, and also they're fast, or relatively fast. The so, first cavalry. Yeah. I mean, I, have, I obviously have wolves, but... Mm. Wolves aren't cavalry. No. And they're not. They're, they're good. They're all right, if they hit. If they don't, then it's just no point. Um, yeah. Because they can't survive. No. Um, so that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, so that is... Sorry, did, you, did we do questions? Are we, we supposed to do questions on these videos? Uh, it looks like you, we did the questions in the video. Did we? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So that, that is that's the kind of the layout we have now. Yeah, sorry, it's that long since we've done proper unboxing videos because of everything that's going on. Um, I hope you're enjoying the building videos. Um, I am currently doing a building video of the Barrow Mound I built, um, which is actually finished. Um, it's, it's over there at the back. You might see it just there. That's what it looks like when it's done. Um, I think I've just uploaded the video of doing the main one of the halls, uh, the hallway. Um, so just keep a look out for the rest of them. Um, it's finished now, so I'm, I've just got to edit all the videos and load them up. So thank you for watching them. If you're interested in any of that stuff, but if not, don't worry about it. And this is the Living Dead Knights box. All right. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the Forgotten World Living Dead Knights. That's everything from, that's everything from me. I've never seen from him. Goodbye. See ya.